Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. I thought we would kick off 2021 with something a little bit different and make a little vlog style video for my recent trip to Mexico City. So let's do it. So the first thing you're going to notice about Mexico City is this place is huge and it is full. I mean, if you think there's a lot of people in, let's say, Los Angeles, Los Angeles County has 10 million people. There is 28 million people in Mexico City. So me being the crazy person that I am, once I landed and got settled in, got unpacked a little bit, I decided I wanted to go to the gym. But something just didn't feel right. I mean, I wasn't doing anything particularly strenuous. Um, but I was like, damn, this is pretty intense. So I was wondering why I was so much more out of breath during this workout. I mean, I'm not doing anything out of the ordinary. Then I had to remind myself, I'm 7,400 feet above sea level. I should give my lungs a break. If you're in Mexico City or any city that's way above sea level, give yourself some time to get used to the elevation. Trust me, your lungs need a little bit of a break. Going to the gym and doing some cardio is probably not the best choice the same day that you land. So moving on to something that was a little lower impact, Mexico City is known for its museums. There's a museum for basically any topic you can think of and most of them are pretty sick. And please, because of the pandemic, you want to call ahead or check the official website to see if they're open or if they've changed their hours. A lot of places don't update Google or call ahead. You don't want to spend your time and money going from one side of the city to the other only to find out that it's closed. And getting around Mexico City could not be easier. They have apps like Uber and Cabify and journeys within the city are so cheap. You can get anywhere for pretty much four or five bucks. So if you're somebody who's sketched out by public transportation or the thought of getting on a subway in such a big city is kind of daunting to you, don't worry, Uber, Cabify got you, super cheap. So once I was settled and I had a stomach full of tacos, I decided it was time to cross one big thing off of my list and visit the pyramids outside of Mexico City. Yes, if you didn't know, there are pyramids all over Mexico and one of the coolest ones is right outside Mexico City. So, after about an hour drive on some of the bumpiest, craziest roads you've ever seen, finally made it. Teotihuacan. Here's another tip. Instead of looking online for a tour to take you there, talk to one of your Uber or your Cabify drivers and see if you can work out a deal for he or she to take you there and they'll wait for you and you'll already have your ride sorted to get back. They'll usually cut you a really good deal because they really want the work. So this is what I'm always telling you guys about planning your shots ahead. I got there early and I still had to work around a bunch of people to get shots without tourists in the background. Just waiting on these tourists to stop ruining my shots and then I'll continue. But luckily I knew the shots that I wanted to get. I got them as quickly as possible and then I got out of there. Well, that's it for part one guys next time i'm going to tell you about this road trip that i took to these amazing thermal pools and this awesome waterfall just outside of hidalgo if you like this video make sure you hit subscribe so you can keep up to date on all my adventures and why not follow me on instagram too it's at st john i love hearing from you guys there so until next time guys take care and stay safe bye